بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو بائی لنگولیسم اینڈ آور ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از کوڈ مکسنگ اینڈ ہائبرڈائزیشن کوڈ مکسنگ از دا مکسنگ آف ٹو اور مور لینگویجز اور لینگویج ورائٹیز ان آ اسپیچ Some scholars use the term code mixing and code switching interchangeably, especially in the studies of syntax, morphology, and other formal aspects of language. Others assume more specific de definitions of code mixing, but these specific definitions may be different in different subfields of linguistics, education, studies, communication, medical, and as a trap. Code mixing is similar to the use of use or creation of pigeons. But while a pigeon uh, is created across groups that do not share a common language. Code mixing may occur with within a multilingual setting where speakers share more than one language. So, code mixing is different from uh, pigeon in a sense that pigeon uh, comes into being as uh, when uh, two groups, two or more groups who do not share any language with each other, they do not understand each other's language at all. So, they then uh, a new language is generated there that is known as pigeon. But code mixing is different because it occurs within a multilingual setting where speakers share more than one language so they shift from one language to the other because both the speaker and the uh, listener they they share more than they know more than one language code mixing as code switching Some linguists use the terms code mixing and code switching more or less interchangeably, especially in formal studies of syntax, morphology, etc. Both terms are used to refer to utterances, the utterances that are drawn from elements of two or more grammatical systems. These studies are often interested in the alignment of elements, so how to uh, align the elements uh, uh, that are drawn from uh, two or more grammatical systems. So this is the main uh, area of interest of these studies uh, uh, or on constraints that limit uh, switching. So these two things, the one is the alignment of elements and second, so to study the constraints, the Uh, conditions or uh, the principles uh, that limit switching uh, uh, of one uh, from one language to the other language. So these two things are the main focus of such studies. Studies, uh, uh, formal studies of uh, uh, language elements like syntax, morphology, and other elements of language. Some works define code mixing as the placing or mixing of various linguistic units from two different grammatical systems within the same sentence and speech context. So some work they define what is code mixing. Code mixing is that the placing or mixing of various uh, linguistic units like uh, affixes, words, phrases, clauses. Uh, okay. Uh, from two different grammatical system within the same sentence. So, in so something uh, is inserted in the same sentence. That is code mixing according to some work. While code switching is the placing or mixing of units uh, from two codes within the same speech context. But here in code switching is different than code mixing, uh, that placing or mixing of the units occurs within the same speech context, not the same sentence. 
in code mixing it occurs uh, within the same sentence but in code switching the change occurs within the same speech not within the same sentence the structural difference between code switching and code mixing is the position of the altered element so this is the main structural difference between uh, code switching and code mixing that was the position of the altered element uh, in the speech is it uh, within the sentence or it's within the speech so for code switching the modification of the codes occurs intersententially while for code mixing it occurs intrasententially so intersententially i mean uh, in between sentences and intrasententially within the same sentence as we just talked about in other words the term code switching emphasizes a multilingual speaker's movement from one grammatical system to another while the term code mixing suggests a hybrid form drawing from distinct grammar in other words code mixing emphasizes the formal aspects of language structures or linguistic competence while code switching emphasizes linguistic performance while many linguists have worked to describe the difference between code switching and borrowing of words or phrases the term code mixing may be used to encompass both types of language behavior so here as we've seen that many linguists have defined uh, code mixing and code switching differently okay but uh, what's the uh, conclusion of this discussion so code mixing may be used to encompass both types of language behavior behavior so code mixing can be referred to for code mixing and code switching as well code mixing in social linguistics while linguists who are primarily interested in the structure or form of code mixing may have relatively little interest to separate code mixing from code switching why because they are uh, primarily interested in structure or form of code mixing so uh, that's why they are relatively little interest uh, have little interest to separate code mixing from code switching some social linguists have gone to great lengths to differentiate the two phenomena but contrary to this social linguists have gone to great lengths i mean they have emphasized uh, to great extent to differentiate the two phenomena for these scholars code switching is associated with particular pragmatic effects discourse functions or associations with group identity why i mean why they um, emphasize to differentiate the two phenomena because for them code switching is associ associated with particular pragmatic effects discourse functions or associations with uh, group identity so in this in this tradition the term code mixing or language alternation are used to describe more stable situations in which multiple languages are used without such pragmatic effects which are part of code switching so that's why I mean, social linguists they they uh, consider these two terms are as totally uh, different uh, different things different uh, fields code mixing in language acquisition in studies of bilingual language acquisition code mixing refers to a developmental stage during which children mix elements of more than one language so in the studies of bilingual language acquisition so what is code mixing it refers to a developmental stage in the stage developmental stage during which children mix 
elements of more than one language. So nearly all bilingual children go through a period in which they move from one language to another without apparent discrimination. So uh, don't take this, we are talking about uh, uh, children in, in general, but we are just f talking about the bilingual children. I mean, th the children who, who, uh, who uh, get bilingual environment in their childhood. So nearly all, nearly all of uh, such children, they go through a period in which they move from one language to another and without any problem, without any apparent discrimination. They, they just move, naturally move from one language to the other language because of their environment, bilingual environment. This differs from code switching which is understood as the socially and grammatically appropriate use of multiple varieties. So this is different from code switching, so which has uh, mm, uh, different characteristics. So uh, it's, it's taken as uh, the socially and grammatically appropriate use of multiple varieties. But this is not the case uh, with the children. I mean, they just move uh, from one uh, they just use some elements of one language and then they move to the elements of uh, the other, lang other language. Beginning at the babbling stage, young children in bilingual or multilingual environments produce utterances that combine elements of both or all of their developing languages because they, they develop uh, more than one language together side by side so they produce utterances so sometimes they, I mean, they produce utterances which combine elements of both of their developing languages some sounds some uh, accents some other things uh, linguistic elements so they combine elements which uh, are part of uh, both or more than two languages they uh, they are developing at that stage some linguists suggest that this code mixing reflects a lack of control or ability to differentiate the languages. And some linguists uh, suggest that this code mixing, this type of code mixing, it reflects a lack of control or ability to differentiate the, uh, between the languages. Others argue that it's a product of limited vocabulary. Very young children may know a word in one language, but not in another. So they switch to the language they know. And more recent studies argue that this early code mixing is a demonstration of a developing ability to code switch in socially appropriate ways. So more recent studies, they argue that this early code mixing is a demonstration of a developing ability uh, for code switching that is socially appropriate uh, appropriate way of uh, communication for young bilingual children cold mixing may be dependent on the linguistic context cognitive task demands and interlocutor so these are interlocutor the, the, the communicator so it depends on these things uh, uh, the code mixing in bilingual children. Code mixing may also function to fill gaps in their lexical knowledge. This, as we just talked that code mixing bilingual children move uh, from one language to the other language because maybe they don't know uh, uh, the vocabulary of one particular language but they know the vocabulary in other languages th so they they go to that language. So in this way, code mixing uh, fills the gap uh, of lexical knowledge. Some forms of code mixing by young children may indicate risk for language impairment. So some forms of code mix, some forms only, not uh, every form, every uh, code mixing, but uh, just specifically, uh, there may be some forms by young children, they may be the indication of risk for language impairment. I mean, if they, if they go for chord mixing so frequently, I mean, they, 
there may be some sort of uh, risk of language impairment they may not learn one language uh, perfectly or there may be some other kind of uh, deficiency in their language ability code mixing in uh, psychology and psycholinguistics in psychology and in psycholinguistics the label core mixing is used in theories that draw on studies of language alternation or code switching to describe the cognitive structures underlying bilingualism during the 1950s and 60s uh, psycholinguists and linguists treated bilingual speakers as in Grosjean's term, two monolinguals in one person. This uh, fractional view supposed that a bilingual speaker carried two separate mental grammars. The bilingual speaker carried two separate mental grammars that were more or less identical to the mental grammars of monolinguals and that were ideally kept separate and used separately. So here, this uh, view suppose that a bilingual person carries two separate mental grammars like two, two uh, persons, two monolingual persons, they carry those grammars individually uh, separately uh, and bilingual um, also carries uh, these two uh, grammars uh, separately in his mind and he uses them separately also successfully. Studies since the 1970s however have shown that bilinguals regularly combine elements from separate languages. So these findings have led to studies of code mixing in psychology and psycholinguistics. Sridhar and Sridhar define code mixing as the tr transition from using linguistic units of one language to using those of another within a single sentence. So the transition of linguistic uh, units uh, from one language to the uh, other language within a single sentence is called mixing according to Sridhar and Sridhar. They know that this is distinct from code switching in that it occurs in a single sentence because sometimes uh, uh, known as intra-sentential switching, the code mixing we are talking about. And in that it does not fulfill the pragmatic or discourse oriented functions described by socio linguistics. So, it's so they note that uh, code mixing is different from code switching uh, for two reasons. So, one is that it occurs in a single sentence, I mean, intra sentential, and second, it does not fulfill the pragmatic or discourse oriented functions that are described by social linguistics uh, uh, which are the part of code switching uh, as per social linguists. The practice of code mixing which draws from competence in two languages at the same time suggests that these competences are not stored or processed separately. So here they say the, the, the practice of code mixing which draws from competence in two languages at the same time say that these competences, uh, competences are not stored or processed separately. Code mixing among, among bilinguals is therefore studied in order to explore the mental structures underlying language abilities. A code mixing as fuse lact. A mixed language or a fuse lact is a relatively stable mixture of two or more languages. What some linguists have described as code switching as unmarked choice 
or frequent code switching has more recently been described as language mixing or in the case of the most strictly grammaticalized forms as fuse lags. Uh, a mixed language or uh, a fuse lag is uh, as a relatively stable mixture of two or more languages. A fuse lag is identical to mixed language in terms of uh, semantics and pragmatics, but fuse lags allow less variation since uh, they are fully uh, gra uh, grammaticalized. In areas where code switching among two or more languages is very common, it may become normal for words from both languages to be used together in everyday speech. Unlike code switching, where a switch tends to occur at semantically or social linguistically meaningful junctures, this code mixing has no specific meaning in the local context. A fuse lag is identical to a mixed language in terms of semantics and pragmatics, as I just told you, but it allows less variations since they are fully grammaticalized. In other words, there are grammatical structures of the fuse lag that determine which source language elements may occur. A mixed language is different from a Creole language. Creoles are taught to develop, thought to develop from pigeons as they become nativized. We have just talked about how uh, pigeon language is uh, uh, generated or created. Uh, mixed languages develop from situations of code switching. language hybridization so this is the second part of our topic today uh, language hybridization uh, language hybridization uh, is a resultant process of frequent code mixing so this is the result uh, of frequent code mixing so what we get what product we get uh, after uh, frequent code mixing is language hybridization. Sometimes uh, even the grammar or structure of one language is applied to the vocabulary of another. So sometimes at the place of grammar, place of uh, uh, grammar or structure, the same thing, of one language and it's replaced by vocabulary uh, of another language. So when two or more languages are frequently mixed, result resultantly a new hybrid variety of language takes birth. This new variety to some extent shares the qualities of both the languages, but it has its own independent grammar and vocabulary that may not match any of the mixed languages, any of the participant languages. A few examples of core mixing uh, and language hybridization from Pakistani perspective between Urdu and English language are here uh, in the coming slides. Like the first one, the hybridization in single words. So we start from 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 the below, okay, from the word level, and then we'll move up to the sentence level. Uh, Lidra, you see these examples. Lidra, this is uh, hybridization. Leader is English and uh, is a part of uh, uh, Urdu. Company, machine, film, class, agenda. Hybridization in compound words. Qomi assembly, hukumati member, parlimani, leader. So here we have compound words. First we had just word level and here compound words. Uh, contract, mulazameen, defy budget, pass karda shariat bill. In noun phrases, we have sometimes the speaker 
speakers make a hybridized f noun phrase by adding nouns from English and the modifier from Urdu. Noun is English and modifier or adjective is Urdu. Majuda uh, assembly, tamam products. Achi selection, ek bohot bada challenge, ek mindset, chota sa break. Uh, we are not going to have a break. We'll just we are just going to finish it uh, in a minute, hopefully. Mukhtalif companies. Sometimes the speakers make a noun phrase by adding noun from Urdu and the modifier from English. The opposite here, the reverse now. First noun was English and modifier English Urdu and now uh, noun Urdu and modifier English. Record Padawar. Provincial Hukumat, Major Hissa, Modern Aslah, Aslaha, weapon I think, uh, Legal Masala, Masala, okay, Important Guftugu, and uh, Motor Gari. Sometimes uh, the hybridized noun phrases are made by sandwiching the items of one language between the items of the other language. So here, now we have uh, a sandwich, uh, police or judiciary, a genuine opposition ka role, and K article, teen ki, uh, really is difficult for me, and K article, teen ki sub class, char, oh I see, that's the number I think, and K article, Teen ki sub class char. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, news night ka dusra segment. Suicidal kism ka ek action. Ek billion rupea. Now, hybridization in verb phrases. Now, verb phrases. Uh, control be kar sakte hain, justify nahi kar sakte. Uh, so control is verb and then uh, we have uh, some other words which make it verb phrase. Verb is the head, control is the head and, and all these phrases. Justify nahi kar sakte, notification nahi hua hai, support nahi karenge, relief milega, pass kiya tha. Some communities have special names for a hybrid variety. In India, Hin Hindlish and Hinglish are used for the widespread mixing of Hindi and English. In Pakistan, Urdish refers to the mixing of the Urdu and English. In Nigeria, Amu Lumala verbal salad. Maybe this is the meaning of uh, Amu Lumala verbal salad. So check the meaning of this if anybody can find meaning. Please let me know also is used for English and Yoruba uh, mixing and switching. English and Yoruba mixing and switching is known as Amulumala. Kitna khubsura seen hai noun in dono ko compare ko verb ye one sided report hai is noun phrase and aaj maine Bara testi kofta kari banaya hai noun phrase hybridization. Code mixing and language hybridization are interesting phenomena in bilingual societies that gain significance in the backdrop of globalization. Since the majority of people in, in the country in Pakistan uh, have a very superficial and limited understanding of English. Those who, who know English frequently code mix, uh, code mix it in Urdu to exhibit their superior knowledge of English, but at the same time being fearful of that they may not be understood or interpreted well, they repeat the Urdu equivalent. So this repetition is used as a pedagogical strategy by many teachers in Pakistan school also to ensure that students understand what is taught. The young people in 
Pakistan are often heard using English and Urdu salutations like hello assalamu alaikum they say it together hello assalamu alaikum together they say this especially in telephonic conversation is very common in the same way good morning is often followed by assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum good morning like this and sometimes after using an urdu word or phrase they add its english equivalent such as azhud automatically so here is there we have two reasons why they do this they they say urdu and then they go to english uh, for its equivalent in such cases uh, there are two reasons the first one is uh, the speaker repeats the english equivalent of the used word to express his knowledge of english since english is a language of prestige and high status in pakistan this is one when to show his high status and to sh show his knowledge uh, of uh, English language so uh, the speaker repeats English equivalent after using Urdu uh, another reason is positive also here in such cases is that the English equivalent of the word or term is more popular in society so this is a fact also sometimes the English equivalent is more popular in society than the Urdu one uh, and the speaker feels that the Urdu word or term being less in use may not be understood by the listener. Uh, I especially, I, I, f I feel it uh, in, in, in the field of technology in mobile. I mean, if you choose a setting in Urdu language, you will see that you, it will be very difficult for you to understand what does it say. I mean, uh, the setting of mobile phone. So, like for setting. Uh, the word is used there, tartib. Maybe many people do not understand what does tartib means. So, uh, maybe the, this the same cases um, uh, with so many terms that are more popular in English here in Pakistan than the Urdu terms. Code mixing plays a very significant role in language change and language variation and also provides an insight into socio-cultural phenomena taking place in that area or region through the linguistic choices of the people. You know, it's a code mixing that uh, plays a major role in language change. I mean, the language changes and new and the uh, birth of for the birth of uh, new languages also and variations between uh, in the language. I mean, the, the uh, the creation of new dialects and new languages. So code mixing plays very vital role. It's not only an indicator that the process of change is going on when code mixing is the uh, process indicator of the process that change is going on, but also a vehicle of linguistic change. Indeed, many linguists view mixed code as an inevitable byproduct of bilingualism bilingualism as a matter of fact language change is not something new it has always been taking place in all the languages through all the times including Urdu but what is important in the present scenario is the speed of this change that noticeable even to the general public and now you see people, even uh, illiterate people, they use English terms so frequently now. And that was not the case in the past. But nowadays, people, because of the media, because of uh, the internet and many factors, and people understand and they, they use uh, especially English uh, vocabulary in their everyday talk. You will write a comprehensive note on different types of code mixing as the assignment for this uh, lecture. Um, uh, the word limit uh, is uh, uh, going to be, let's say, 800 words. Also, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. I wish you all the best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.